Hey everybody, it's Karen with Food and Family. Brandon's back and with me, me We're today. Back. And uh, I so love having him in the yep. kitchen with me. And he today is going to show us how he does his redfish. And uh, this was yep. freshly caught in New Orleans. Near New Orleans? Near New Orleans. Yep. Absolutely. So tell them, tell them a little bit about that. It's in uh, Delacroix, Louisiana. It's about probably 35, 40 minutes from New Orleans. Went on a fishing trip back in November and for two days and caught a lot of them. So we've kept some, we've kept them frozen. And uh, oh, these are great. If you freeze them right, put them in a freezer bag with a vacuum sealed freezer bag. And uh, they're just as fresh as the, the day you caught them. So the captain will clean them, his crew will clean them for yep. you, and they'll package them up for you? Yeah, and I think we'll share a few pictures uh, on the video. Oh, that um, would be wonderful. Uh, I think everybody what we would like that. Absolutely. Yeah. So we're using redfish that he caught. Of course, we just told you that. But I, I want him to show you how beautiful these are. Now, he taught me something. This is called... On the half shell. It's on the half shell. <laughs> yep. And um, but now, if you don't have access to redfish, mm -hmm. and if you can go to your seafood market, or even I would guess your butcher maybe could um, yeah. inquire about maybe getting you some. Absolutely. Um, so, having said that. Let's get Let's on get with started. telling them how we're going to do this fish today. Yeah, we're going to make up, I guess, what I call a baste. It's your seasoning. Uh-huh. And we're going to start with uh, two whole lemons. Yeah, we've already started juicing the lemons. Yeah. So I'm going to get it finished up. So you want to juice those. And we've got just a little glass bowl here. We've got a, a strainer. Because you do have the seeds in here and you don't want the seeds. Yeah. yeah. This juicer I'm using was my mother's, his grandmother's. Yeah. So it kind of means a lot yeah, to me. All right. You think it's good? That's good. All right. Let's make sure we, they say we're going to strain this. Yeah. We don't and, want those um, seeds no, in our. They don't make for good eats. No. Is that I good? Don't, that's, I think that's perfect right there, don't you? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna strain those seeds out. And it gets all that extra pulp. Yeah. Which I personally don't have a problem with pulp, but. <laughs> no, not the seeds. Uh-uh. We don't want crunchy fish, do no, we? No, All right, how does that look to you? That looks good. That, that looks look good. good, okay. Now what we're gonna take is two tablespoons of olive oil and pour that in there. This is, this is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna oh, move yeah, some yeah. of this stuff out of our way. Then we're gonna take uh, one tablespoon of minced garlic. Mm, we love garlic. Okay. And then we'll take uh, two teaspoons of Cajun seasoning. This is Slappy Mama. But use your favorite. My hands are full. I can't. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Got that. Let's set those off to the side. Y'all know what he was trying to say, right? Take the whisk here. This is something that, this is a quick meal. Yeah, we've got our uh, oven already preheated to 475. And this is going to cook about 20, 20 minutes. Yeah. Could go about 25. And uh, I've got them right now. I got meat side down. But we're going to, we'll baste this side first, then flip them over. And we'll cook them on that skin side. So that and, keep, that's going to hold all that goodness yeah. into that flesh. And we'll never turn them over. But at about 20 minutes, um, you should be able to see the uh, the meat start flaking away, turning white, mm -hmm. kind of flaking off, and that's perfect. Oh, okay. Pull them out. So, so I think the this? hardest part of this is going to be juicing the lemons and measuring out your that's it ingredients. 
So he's teaching me a recipe today, y'all. So you just want to go ahead and base that, just I'm, I'm no guessing perfect way, just cover it. Just cover it real good, yep. baste it real good. Don't be skimpy, right? No, because you're gonna have you're gonna have some left over. Yeah, so we want it to really get in there and penetrate. Listen, and don't worry about that oil and the lemon juice and everything running down in your pan. Mm -hmm. um, under the rack, uh -huh. it's just gonna it'll steam up in there and it'll be good. Yeah, so we did, and if you didn't notice, we put it on a the pan's got a rack. We put it on the rack, and. Uh, Okay. Looks good. So we'll. You like that? I do. What do you think? Yep. Absolutely. Okay. Now. And we'll flip it over and get the other side. We'll flip it over. And here's what I'm going to do. See how these are running. If you look at your scales, there's a, a, a rough way, right? Mm -hmm. Come back the other way and it's smooth. Mm -hmm. So I laid these out. The rough way is facing away from us. Uh -huh. So when I flip them over now, uh -huh. okay. We do that. So, if you want to scoop it up with a uh, spatula mm -hmm. after that, mm -hmm. you're not running into your scales and it's just smooth and you can lift them right up. How smart is that? And that's especially great for doing it on a grill. See, did y'all know that? I didn't. And that's with any fish if you cook it on the half shell. Now, I've got to say, though, I, I don't cook fish on the half shell. Right. Um, so, this is new for me, and I love grilled fish. So, that is, that's an awesome tip. Yep. I, I'm basting it real generously like we did the other Absolutely. side. Even over here on this side. Yep. And leave that piece of skin mm -hmm. on right there. Mm -hmm. It just... It holds the, the flavor, the juices in there, and this marinade yeah. that we're making. And also, when you go to eat it, kind of gives you a little place to start with your fork. Oh. How and do... also, um, while you're doing that, uh -huh. we're going to have this over rice pilaf. And since we like to cook simple some days, yes. and this is a Sunday afternoon, we're going to use Uncle Ben's rice pilaf. You can get two of these bags, it's for two people, mm -hmm. and put them in the microwave for two and a half minutes, and it's wonderful. But if you want to make your own from scratch, we just like to do yeah. quick and easy sometimes, and this is a, this has come together so quick mm -hmm. that this would be a meal that you can come in from work yep. or Sunday after church and throw in the oven. Absolutely. And uh, you can have your fish in the refrigerator thawing yep. and it's done. That's right. Right? All right. So I think we're going to get this in the oven, get it cooking, and we're going to slice up another lemon so we can squeeze some over if we want to. Okay. Them. So about 20 minutes? Yeah. 20 minutes, we'll go for 20 minutes. And uh, if it's not to your liking, put it in for a little bit longer. But okay. we're gonna go for 20 minutes right now. All right. All righty. All right, so let's get that in the oven. And then uh, we're gonna come back and we're gonna show you what this looks like. Our timer just went off. Mm -hmm. I think that fish is ready. You ready? You think so? Yep. I'm ready. Let's get it. All right, let's do this. We are ready to eat. And while he's getting that out, I am going to chop up a little parsley. Yeah, my Damn. parsley is still Gum, that looks good. <laughs> my parsley is still growing, even after this cold weather that we've had, Brandon. Oh mama. Watch yourself, hot pan. I'm not Come moving. Biden. I'm not moving. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. Now y'all look at this. Isn't it pretty? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. That is some pretty fish. We got our rice on our plates, so he's going to show you how he plates it up. You see that? What I told you? Yes, and even see, with the grates going the wrong way. Uh huh. It was. Uh, it was it just come good. right off, and it did not leave. Mm -mm. A smidge no. of that skin. 
We have a visitor at the door. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can't you see her. Which piece you want, Mama? Oh, uh, I this think you one. want. You sure? This one, yeah, that one'd be good. Looks good to me. Ready? Mm-hmm. I love that idea, Brandon. That's something I don't have to th uh, remember. Mm -hmm. And I've got to say, I, I don't cook fish with the skin on like that all that often. But that's something to remember. Because I have never, I've never heard it. Absolutely. And uh, never thought about it. Let's make it party. What's that a uh, hot pan? There you go. Mm, there you go. There you go. Let's put some more on this other one. I'll show it to them with a little, little greenery on it. There you go. Yes, and y'all gonna have to give me just a second. I gotta take a picture of this plate okay. <laughs> before we bite into it. Uh, they know, my children know, I, I take pictures. You wanna set them now? Perfect. Okay. All right, now I'm excited to try this. We yep. have some lemon. We cut up some lemon. And um, I did take the seeds out of these yes. little sections. And Put those over there. Isn't that beautiful, though? I am nice. just uh, excited. Come this way just a little bit. I'm excited to try. Mm, I love, lemon. I like squeezed lemon over oh, my yeah. fish. Absolutely. And then set it right there on the plate to make it purdy. I need a fork. Oh, never mind. I, <laughs> I'm holding my fork. I'm going to try the fish first. What are you trying first? Well, I'm going to get all that goodness in one bite. I'm going to get some fish and some rice. You know, I don't know that I've ever had red fish. Mmm. Mm. Pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Mm hmm. That is, Brandon, that's delicious. Yeah. Mm hmm. Rice is pretty good. I'm going to try it with the rice now. I yeah. just tried the fish. <laughs> pretty good. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mmm. I'll come back to that. Mm. I hope y'all will try this. Mm -hmm. Give this a try, but seriously, if you can't get redfish where you are, ask your, um, even in your local grocery, go back to the yep. meat seafood department yep. and see if they can get it. And if they can't, maybe they so could suggest something. Yeah, maybe that would, mm -hmm. go on a fishing trip. Mm-hmm. Better yet, go on a fishing trip. <laughs> yep. He's going again. Pop Jones is going with him yep. and Parker. Yep. And they're going toward the end of this month. Yep. We'll leave on the 27th. Mm -hmm. So we're looking forward to um, them bringing back some more fish. Mm -hmm. We will. Mm -hmm. well, so, I had fun today. I had fun. I'm glad you're here with me. Yep. We're going to go enjoy our fish. We are. And I want you to think about, if you have it, Go out on our website, KarenJonesFoodAndFamily.com, and I'll link all of that in the description box mm -hmm. below this video. Think about getting a cookbook. And you never know, this redfish might just show up in the next might one. Might be. So, might be in there. Uh-huh. Brandon's redfish. Thank you for coming up and yep. cooking with me today. Absolutely. I certainly enjoy being with you. Well, I'm hungry. Every time we get together and cook, it's so much fun. Yep. Yeah, we enjoy having each and every one of you in the kitchen with us. Please like, share, subscribe to our channel. And mm -hmm. don't forget, hit that little notification button so you'll know when we post our next video. Come join us again soon. See, so, see you soon, everybody. Bye.
How are we going to start? <clears throat> We've already started. Oh. I can turn it off. You can do a blooper. No, I mean, what are we going to do? You go intro, and this is what we're going to have, and...